this project, uh, which is a 100 megawatts Samba solar plant, will go a long way in mitigating the effects of uh, power deficit on our grid. We are putting on the grid 100 megawatts um, of uh, AC power generation, also helping to reduce the deficit of uh, energy on our, on our grid. This is the largest plant, uh, solar plant so far in the country. So a lot of work has gone into uh, this process. Yes. As is ASCO, one of the mitigation measures that we are implementing is to improve our generation mix so that we can start diluting uh, the, uh, the impact of a hydro deficit. Uh, solar generation is one of the low hanging fruits because it can be implemented within a relatively short period. So we are very grateful to Stan Big to support us in the debt financing for this project and all the other parties, uh, Greenco that will be uptaking the power from KNBE and the eventual uh, users of the power, FQM. So we are very grateful for this occasion. I once made a statement that I shall repeat as a people, can we stop behaving like fish, looking at water levels? The sun is there to give us answers to some of the power issues that we face as a nation. Just invest in energy. The demand is unlimited. Uh, I don't want to say a lot of things because we may delay the signing so that the thing would go across, across the line. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get to the signing and get the power running into the grid. Thank you very much. We, Greenco, as a licensed um, energy trader in Zambia, have worked collaboratively with Standic on the financing, uh, putting innovative structuring uh, that uh, meet the requirements uh, of uh, the financing that has been procured, uh, that deliver, uh, as has been mentioned again, I think uh, it bears mentioning again, the, the belief and the patience of Power China in continuing to execute the project. Um, and delivers net new power to the, to the grid. As has been mentioned, this power is contracted to uh, First Quanta Minerals, who will offtake the power. This is not net new demand from the mine. This power displaces what Zesco would have otherwise been supplying the mine and makes that equivalent capacity or energy available for supply to the rest of the grid, the general grid. So it's bringing that relief that the country needs, that the system needs, and it's very important that we understand and, uh, and underscore that. I think finally, when we do a transaction like this, it's always to be seen as a template. It's not an end in itself, but we've done something that we can replicate and continue as board chairman Zesco, you mentioned, to now take even bigger steps. Today we've reached a financial close for financing the 100 megawatts uh, solar plant that we are developing in Itsamba as Kariba North Bank uh, Extension Power Corporation. The, this power will be supplied locally, it will not be exported. That is enshrined in the power purchase agreement with Greenco. And um, what does it bring to the people of Zambia? Uh, Zesco is supposed to send that uh, 100 megawatts to um, FKM. But instead of Zesco sending that power, that power will be sent to the Zambian people for, for use. And then the 100 megawatts from the solar plant will go uh, to Green Co, who are going to supply the power to, to uh, FKM, the mines. Uh, so this project also will also bring employment uh, on board. Uh, Zambian people will be employed to work uh, in this power station during uh, its operations. For too long, our power source has always depended on hydro. Today, we've moved a, a step further and started to integrate into our grid solar-based power. 
Now, this has been made possible by collaboration and partnership between Africa Green Co, Stanbic, Power China, Zesco, KNB, and many other partners who played important roles behind the scene. I would also like to thank the off-takers, Africa Green Co, who were also part of the Energy Forum for Africa that have brought us all together here. For us as Stambic Bank Zambia, this really talks directly to our purpose, which is to drive Zambia's growth, and driving Zambia's growth by contributing to the energy sector. With the completion of this deal, with financial close that has been reached today, we as Stambic Zambia have participated in increasing the energy supply in Zambia by 661 megawatts. That's over 20% of the, of the needed, the current demand that is required in the country. So it's a very, very proud moment for us to see the impact that we're having directly in the economy. We couldn't have done this, no matter how much we want to do it, singularly. So when we come together, this is what we achieve. And so, friends, this is the kind of collaboration that unlocks innovation. I, for one, have said many, many times uh, elsewhere, we need to be creative, we need to be innovative. So I think, to, I think this morning we are, we are witnessing that when we are innovative and when we are creative and when we are free, these things happen. And we hope that uh, there will be more of this where the mining industry is poised to grow. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.